Hi, this is Dr. Vivek and today let's talk about folic acid. In today's video, information is going to be very, very important for you and for your near and dear ones. This is the information that all of us should be knowing. And this is all about folic acid. What is folic acid? Folic acid is a type of vitamin B9. Actually, vitamin B9 can be found in two forms. First is folic acid. Folic acid is the most synthetic form of vitamin B9. Its absorption is not so good and the effects that you want by consumption of vitamin B9, you are not going to get them so good if you will be consuming vitamin B9 in the form of folic acid. Folic acid is the most commonly used prescribed sold form of vitamin b9 but its absorption is the worst its bioavailability is worse and conversion of folic acid to active form of vitamin b9 that our body needs is the worst so i never recommend to use folic acid if i found a person needs folic acid or vitamin b9 so what do i recommend I recommend use of L-methylofolate. This is the second type of vitamin B9. As I told you, vitamin B9 can be found in two forms. First is folic acid. Second is methylofolate. So I always recommend to use methylofolate form of vitamin B9. Don't worry, I don't sell vitamin B9. Neither it's available on my website. Neither I have any of the affiliated links. This video is for educational purpose. I'm trying best for my side. On my website, that's reherbal.in. You are not going to find vitamin B9. But if you are interested in the products that have no artificial color, artificial fragrances, no artificial chemicals used and you want them to be effective and if you are interested in interesting natural body care products then you can visit my website that's reherbal.in but no vitamin b9 over there so methyl folate is the most effective form of vitamin b9 and maximum people who are consuming folic acid because they have been found lacking in folic acid or vitamin b9 actually they need methylofolate maximum of these people because this form of methylofolate will be more bioavailable your body is going to use it and it is the active form of vitamin b9 this active form actually its full name is l methylofolate is the active form of vitamin b9 which is needed by the body so always if you'll buy folic acid always buy l methylofolate now what are the signs and symptoms of vitamin b9 deficiency or who should be consuming vitamin b9 if you want your heart to be healthy you don't want to get strokes you don't want to get heart attacks then vitamin b9 the active form is for you if you don't want to get headaches or if you are suffering from headaches or migraines then vitamin b9 in the active form can be helpful for you it also helps if a person is suffering from depression and also helps people who are suffering from problems with neurotransmitters so if you don't want to suffer from dementia vitamin b9 can be a help if you want good hearing power in this also vitamin b9 in its active form that's l methylofolate will be very helpful and the most important thing if you want to get the maximum results of vitamin b9 your vitamin b12 levels should be also good so always if you are consuming vitamin b9 or l methylofolate folic acid always consume it with vitamin b12 what i have seen in my practice is especially in indian subcontinent maximum people are lacking in vitamin b12 even if they have normal range of vitamin b12 their normal range is on the lower end of the normal range so vitamin b12 keep an eye on it you should be having good vitamin b12 levels if you want good effects of vitamin b9 either consume them both together vitamin b12 and b9 what i generally recommend is taking both of them together and that too in the first half of the day with meal or just after the meal about vitamin b12 i have a whole dedicated video a different video if you are interested i'll put a link down below in the description box you can have a look vitamin b12 is also very interesting and it's very important now how long to take it Vitamin B9 and B12, both of them are water soluble vitamins. Means they are soluble in the water inside our body. And if their level increases in our body more than what we need, 
then our body is going to just flush all these vitamins out through urine. So if you are taking them in moderate doses, you don't need to worry and they can be taken for long. So this was the information about vitamin B9 that I wanted to share with you. I hope you got to know something new, something interesting from this video. I hope this video will be helpful for you and your near and dear ones. Do pass this video to everyone near to you because we need to be well educated and we need to be healthy. See you in next video with a big smile. Up to that time. Smile more, stay happy, stay healthy.